Soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind moons. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir, though. Balder, and you fought it, and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about My kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has not the sense to sip for sup. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. I'm 
sure that's a load off your mind. There's something else. See how that drinks? And don't be letting that spitfister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Son? Shoot your old man now, or me. Anything else for you? Was that all there is? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. Oh, we will finish that later. Telling me about Mom's war. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. Serpent rooms. I know she's really powerful, 
But you really think the wish can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Atreus, follow me. This will lead out. I did okay. Yeah? Adequate.
Turn back to AC. Guess the guys are welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Save their neat things upon all who trespass. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Here, boy. I know those roads. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there. She is here. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. 
I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it, it involved, uh... Spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. 
Hope he's not broken. Namir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Namir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. He remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunkun. Ahoye. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
so when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. And we'll pick this up later. Look here. Sir! Nightmares! Uh, <laughs> what awful pain! <laughs> Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom, like maybe a whetstone? Well, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. <laughs> Oh. 
message board. Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimir, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks like one. To who? There is little of value here. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough is enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Or I can Oof. just tell you the story later. You were taken from this realm too early. <laughs> walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig yeah. will reward you. Past this gate.
Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. You were in the middle of a story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the long war? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Hmm. I can't translate this without the whole cipher.
these bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. He's still alive, too, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one's different. No. You know very little. You should look for more like this. Ah, Fafnir. I always wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom, Fafnir? Very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. Yes. Now he's a dragon. <laughs> Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. <laughs> 